Are you sick of being a peasant in World of Warcraft? Has your lack of gold led to issues in your life? Has your World of Warcraft gambling addiction made it so you don't have any gold and you can't upgrade to BFA because you don't have enough WoW tokens? Well, then I have the video for you guys. Today, I am going to be teaching you guys a gold farm where you can obtain an item that is a worth anywhere from 3 million to about 500k so we'll we'll just say 500k to be safe depending on your server but the highest i have seen this item go for is about 3 million on your server again this really is dependent on population so you might ask kunta what item are we going to be farming we are going to be farming the scarlet boots now some of you may or may not be wondering and or asking uh, how can we farm these Scarlet Boots? They were taken out of the loot table, Kunta. There's absolutely no way that we can do that because they, they just don't drop anymore. They just don't exist. Well, you're wrong. They do drop. The Scarlet Boots do still drop in the Scarlet Monastery thanks to the patch 7.3.5. What that means is if you fly to the Scarlet Monastery, so we take right here, we're in the Eastern Kingdoms, we're going to go here to Trisfall Glades and then go to the Scarlet Monastery over here. When you first walk in, you're going to see this little area. You're going to want to take the portal on the left. Make sure you go into the one on the left. Now, the Scarlet Boots are a bit of a special little drop. They are a world drop. Now, what I mean by that is they can drop from any mob in the entire monastery. But that also means you gotta kill a lot of mobs and there also isn't a super great chance that you're gonna get it in the first place but if you do you could be making up to three million gold now running scarlet monastery is super simple and super easy um, it's actually one of the easiest dungeons to run for gold and you are actually going to go ahead and get a lot of cloth out of this as well now the big thing that you want to keep in mind here is that you're going to want mobility and you want to be able to take down tons of enemies fairly quickly as you can see here ideally i just wanted to go ahead and get the boss out of there don't do what i did obviously and not kill the pile of corpses because they'll keep spawning over and over again it's like really annoying don't mess that up like i did um, now when you do do this dungeon you are going to want a character with a high mobility as well you're going to want to make sure you have a character such as a druid or possibly a rogue that can actually run uh, much faster than any normal character so that you can just run the dungeon quicker and actually hit instance lock this dungeon can be done quite fast on a druid as i'm showing you right now even with like not even bear tartar having uh that activated or anything like that um i can still run this dungeon fairly quickly now of course if i did use bear tartar and i was doing everything a good gold farmer would be doing i would have that but i don't have it on right now for the purpose of the video but it is something you guys should definitely look into and something you should farm now remember when you're farming this that you want to kill every single mob because it is a world drop so any mob can drop this now scarlet monastery is pretty notorious for having uh some decent transmog not the greatest transmog farm in the game definitely it is not the best but you will get some transmog out of this farm if you are interested in any of the extras but ideally what we're looking for is just um the scarlet boots just because they sell for so much and there's not really anything else in the game that has the same uh visual appearance as the scarlet boots so as you can see i am essentially running the entire dungeon through and through and then i'm going to unstuck and then get sent back to the beginning of the instance now just keep in mind as well um this is a classic dungeon so what i mean by that is at the end of it they didn't put a way for you to reset and go to the beginning of the instance again so you're gonna have to either unstuck by deleting your hearthstone and then using unstuck to teleport yourself to the back of the instance or I found this neat little trick if you're a druid you can actually dream walk twice so as soon as you dream walk and get to um, you know where dream walk takes you you're gonna do it again and it'll just actually take you back to the beginning of the instance so if you are a druid that's a nice little trick uh, I can give you guys to go ahead and make that a little bit quicker also the final part of this instance is actually a lore like based event and it's kind of like dumb and long and annoying 
but you do have to do it um, as you can see I'm doing it here or else all these mods will not respawn and you do want to clear the entire dungeon to reset it you don't want to just go ahead and uh, kill up to the first boss or anything like that so uh, definitely run the entire dungeon and then reset it uh, at the end and as you can see this lore part it, it's a little annoying that is the only really major issue with this farm other than that, you can speed run this farm quite quickly. Just make sure you have your unstuck uh, bound to a key or uh, something like that. That'll definitely help you out. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and cut the video. And I'm going to talk about some uh, just some tips and tricks and also like what's going on with the channel right now. And uh, I don't know, just some extra little stuff. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. If not, you can leave, uh, but check out the links in the description below because I've got all my YouTube gear, my PC setup, and everything. So if you're wondering you know, what kind of PC I have or what setup I've got, anything like that, it's all in the description below. Anyways, guys, I'm going to cut the video, and we'll see you in a more visually appealing place. Alright, everybody, we're back after that cut. And all I really wanted to say is that I think I'm going to start covering some more of these unobtainable uh, items and these unobtainable item farms because I think that there's actually a lot of value that we can actually pull out of these and some of the times you can get really lucky and you can actually make out with a lot, a lot of gold from some of these farms. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I think I'm going to start covering some more of those and as well as with those farms I am also going to um, I think I don't know yet I don't know I think I may schedule a live stream within the next week possibly where I'll just be farming uh, maybe gold or mounts or something with uh, subscribers so if you guys are interested in that let me know and uh, I'll schedule that and if I do schedule it, you guys will know if you have notifications on because it'll pop up in your uh, subscription feed if I do set it up. So uh, just keep that in mind. Um, I do plan to do the live stream soon. And uh, yeah, so it's been King Kunta, everybody. Thanks for watching. Also, check out the links in the description below. And we'll see you all in the next video.